Hi, this is Brian Kim, and I'd like to share with you my cortical cleanup technique. I am sharing several case examples from start to finish during the cortical cleanup. And I, I want to share this with you because I want you to appreciate how efficient this really is. I've selected these cases and because all of these cortexes are completely uh, they're thick and they're completely in the eye. The remainder of my cases had a much more efficient cortical cleaving hydrodissection, and so there was very little cortex that was remaining in the eye, just some several wisps. So again, to review my technique, I like to start sub-incisionally first, because this is the toughest area to, to reach. Remember, the cortex is almost like a big bowl, and it holds the posterior capsule back. And I use the example of the uncooked pie dough within a uh, tin uh, case. And that cortex is thicker than the posterior capsule and it provides structural rigidity to maintain that convex shape. So when you sweep side to side, you've used very lo little aspiration and as vacuum rises, you're essentially using that negative pressure from the vacuum to hold the cortex at the port. As you tease side to side, that mechanical movement is peeling the cortex away from the posterior capsule and then you can push the pedal down to remove uh, the cortical material from the eye. I do the same maneuvers in front of me. Again, you want to raise aspiration uh, gently to the point where you actually create some vacuum and when you develop that negative pressure it creates that uh, suction, negative suction effect, uh, negative pressure suction effect and so even without any aspiration you can move side to side and that negative pressure will capture the cortical fibers and when you move side to side again that uh, somewhat passive holding of the cortex to the tip helps peel the cortex away from the posterior capsule and then when you're finally ready you can uh, press on the the pedal and it will increase your aspiration vacuum and it'll remove the cortex very quickly so again I have five examples for you today uh, this is my first one when I go into the eye I start sub incisionally please pay attention to the aspiration and vacuum numbers as I'm doing this again I'm, again I move side to side and uh, during the sub incisional and to the steps in front of me uh, please appreciate the, ver the very low aspiration numbers sometimes it's actually zero and it's amazing that it's purely through passive negative pressure that the vacuum has built up it's able to capture uh, the cortical uh, fibers and as I peel side to side it able it's able to peel the cortex from the posterior capsule so again right here I'm moving that side to side action um, that was under uh, almost zero aspiration with some, some mild vacuum I'm attacking the cortex in front of me again doing these wide sweeping side to side movements and when you do that As you saw, I went under the iris, and people might be scared that I'm going to capture something. But remember, if you just look, I wasn't using any aspiration. That was all purely through vacuum, which again is almost like a passive holding of the cortex to the tip through negative pressure. So I'm attacking sub-incisionally again. I'm able to remove a large quadrant of sub-incisional cortex. I'm continuing to do my side-to-side -side movements mostly under the negative pressure that's built up by the vacuum. There's very little aspiration done during these maneuvers. In the fourth case, you can see doing the same exact maneuver, sweeping side to side, sub-incisionally. Again, very low aspiration numbers. The vacuum is helping to hold the cortex to the tip. It's not actually pulling the cortex through the handpiece, which is why this is a very controlled movement. Again, the side to side movement, even into the sub incisional area, and the cortex is completely removed. And this is a final example. Start sub incisionally, sweep side to side again aspiration is like zero vacuum was really low as well continue the side to side movements in front of you and just large broad strokes going side to side 
to catch as much cortex as possible. So I hope this is helpful to you to just show really how efficient this is. And I promise you this is very highly reproducible. These are not just cherry picked cases. I hope that you can benefit from this approach and thank you for your attention.